Coast and hurricane season in full swing in the Atlantic. Take a look at all three hurricanes this morning churning up Florence here, the most powerful, clocking in at a category four with Hurricane Helene at a category two. Tropical storm uh, uh, making their way toward the Leeward Islands. But boy, evacuation orders just up and down the East Coast this morning and uh, just crossing our fingers for folks in North and South Carolina. We wanted to know, and a lot of you at home wanted to know, why do we not see hurricanes on the West Coast? Washington is a coastal state, by the way. Big hurricanes can cause massive damage. You just don't see it anywhere on the West Coast. Big reasons why, storm direction and water temperature. First, that storm direction. Uh, Florence and others, if you know, you've noticed, they always seem to go north, north, west or even directly west through the Florida Keys or into the Gulf of Mexico. That's because of the Coriolis effect for one. Storms always go to the west and northwest. So if they form south of Mexico, they tend to churn upwards out into the Pacific or all the way into Japan. Unfortunately, the eastern portion of our country takes a direct hit. Water temperature as well. Warm water is like jet fuel for hurricanes, and you can see the closer you get to the equator, out into the Gulf, water temperatures are much warmer. Into the 80s on the western portion of our country and where we are, average water temperature is only about 60 degrees. It's really cool, so that just does not get the fuel that hurricanes need. If you're wondering, the last tropical storm to hit the west coast was in 2016. This is Tropical Storm Newton, remnants from that. Uh, no hurricanes have ever hit the state of California.